just takes a few seconds. Okay, well, we're good to go. Load it up. Lights, camera, action. Yes. Live from Corland. Yeah, hello everybody. Um, welcome to our live Ask Your Farmer chat. Thanks for joining us. My name's Jessica. I'm the CSA manager at Main Street Farms this year, and I'm sitting here with... I'm Bobcat, co-owner of Main Street Farms. Uh, and I'm Keegan, I'm the harvest manager. Farms. Yeah, so today we're here to answer any questions you might have about us, our farm. Um, we're going to do this video of once a month, so if you miss this one, there's always next time. Uh, but today we'll start off by talking about Keegan here. Keegan, is uh, we're celebrating his second year anniversary on the farm, and he's also one of our longest running employees aside from Bobcat and Alan, and so thank you Keegan for all that you do for our farm, really. Um, can you tell us something that you're excited about for this upcoming season? Yeah, I'm just uh, really excited to enjoy days like this, get out in the field, get these hands dirty, <laughs> uh, and always give you guys really good vegetables. You know, it's the main priority here. Yeah, thanks. How about you, Bob? Got anything you want to say? Yeah, happy first day of spring, by the way. It's a beautiful day here on the farm. Spring's in the air. We got seeds in the soil. The greenhouses are starting to fill up with some plant starts. And, uh, and it, our, green, our high tunnels, our unheated greenhouses, which had a lot of our winter greens growing all winter long, and they were struggling throughout the winter. If you remember last fall, kind of got cold and dark and snowy kind of early, and our greens just weren't growing. Well, now our greens are out of control and uh, we have lots and lots of spinach that will be coming to market for the next couple of Saturdays in Syracuse. So please, please come get that spinach. It is the best spinach around. It's super sweet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, I guess that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> Great. So we want to start out with a question that we get asked a lot and it's what do we do here when it's really dark and cold? Um, so Bobcat, you want to tell us a little bit about what we do here in the winter? Yeah, so over the winter, you know, things are a little bit slower. So, you know, some of us only work part-time and, uh, you know, when we're not packing our winter CSA or getting ready for market harvesting spinach and whatnot, you know, we kind of just focus on projects, cleaning stuff up, getting stuff organized, doing some planning, ordering seeds, anything that we can do to uh, give ourselves a, a good start uh, in the spring. So that when the fields do finally dry out, we can hit the ground running. And just today behind us, we, uh, we call it reskinning a greenhouse. We are supposed to replace the plastic every five years. So this one was due for some new plastic. So it was a beautiful day and we got to work on a good project like that. So we're getting really excited for the upcoming season. Great, and how about anything you're looking forward to this spring? Any new crops, anything like that? Yeah, you know, we're trying some different things. We, we just ordered some seeds and, you know, some things that in the past were, you know, just were too hard to grow in, in mass quantities. So we're just trying little bits of some, some new things, maybe some melons, some cauliflower, some escarole, mm -hmm. radicchio. We're gonna try some celery. So, you know, some of those crops are, are hard to grow organically on a large scale, uh, but we're going to try our best and hopefully you'll see those at CSA pickups and markets this year. Yeah, no promises, mm -hmm. but we're trying, we're trying for you. Yeah, we hear your request. <laughs> and then another question we get asked a lot too is about, um, because there's not so much going on in the winter and the transition to summer seems like a lot more work, uh, how many people we employ in the winter versus the summer? Yeah, so over the winter we probably have about four to six you know full-time people on the farm and another like four to six part-timers plus some people that are working uh, with the hemp processing the hemp and stuff like that and then come spring we add a few more people and uh, by fall and harvest time we'll probably be at 20 to 30 employees this year yeah the lunchroom gets real busy <laughs> yeah we all eat lunch together every day so we're gonna have to figure it out with more and more people each year yeah and thank you to you our, our members our customers our community for helping not only support us but allowing us to uh, employ such great people year-round and and support their family as we try to pay everybody a living wage and, and that wouldn't be possible without you so thank you for that yeah, so let's jump into some questions that we had some people post on the Facebook group before today. 
Um, I wanted to give a shout out to one of our longtime customers, Rachel, Rachel Isabel. Uh, she asked, are there any plans to grow the red vegetable amaranth, uh, which for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, Bobcat can tell you. Well, I know we used to grow it in our microgreens, so I know we got some red amaranth seeds around somewhere. So Rachel, we will try our best to grow some of it this year. Uh, we've ne I've never really grown it for anything other than microgreens, but I mean, we, we, we will we will try our best. <laughs> yeah, and she also did want to know any of any new veggies, which Bobcat mentions, um, some celery. I, I missed kind of some of the other Melons, ones. Melons, cauliflower, escarole, mm -hmm. radicchio. Yeah. yeah, yep, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're also trying hard to grow more storage vegetables for the winter CSA for next year. So, yeah, we plan stuff like 12 months in advance, so... Uh, you know, and that, and so we're hoping to put more stuff away for the winter so that we have more variety. Yeah, speaking of our, our winter CSA, one thing that we do in the winter is give kind of like a special item, um, which has, often happens to be pesto. Um, so one of our customers, Tammy, asked uh, how do we make the pesto and if we can give an instructional video on it. Um, Bobcat's usually the one that leads making the pesto, but um, this, this summer, if you're part of our CSA, uh, we do a lot of content releases, and last year we did a few videos, one Bobcat's salsa making, um, Bobcat's Caesar salad, we did a, a lot of other uh, recipes, and so this year we can definitely do a pesto one. Yeah, so I could talk a little bit about the pesto for a minute, because I, you know, I like working in the kitchen, and we have access to a commercial kitchen that we share with our friends at Food and Ferments who make sauerkraut. Uh, and um, I, I usually do the pesto with one of our employees, Mark, who's who's got a, a, sh a background in cooking in, in kitchens. And uh, he also happens to be our delivery driver. And so me and Mark are usually the ones making the pesto. But usually, you know, I got gloves on my hands full of basil and stuff. It's hard for me to film that stuff. But that is a great idea. So if Jess will, is willing to come film us this year we'll, we'll we'll let you guys into that we you know we keep our pesto really simple with just uh the basil and uh oil and salt um we keep the cheese and the nuts out of that so make it kind of safe for everybody to eat yeah 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 uh tammy also had a really great question that question was can can members or anyone who's purchasing at the farmer's market bring their own mesh bags for lettuce or spinach so that they don't have to use plastic bags. Yeah, that's not a problem. You know, people have done that in the past, both at Market or CSA. I think T Tammy picks up at, at Cortland Beer. Um, either way is fine with us. You know, you just got to let us know. Never hurts to ask. Uh, you know, sometimes if we're busy, some days other, more than others, it might might not be possible. But most days uh, it probably is, is a possibility. So bring, bring your bag no problem great um, and then the, the last question we have and then I'm gonna go check and see if anybody asked any questions um, but uh, was from a good friend of the farms Ty uh, he was asking how great is it to share a property with the guys that put on seed stock <laughs> it is so great we are so lucky to have such good neighbors particularly Tyler he, he's the man uh, no, but yeah, in all seriousness, we, we love having a uh, music festival right in our backyard. We do quite a bit of work to help those guys uh, put on that festival, but those guys are working even harder to make that happen, and we're really lucky to have such a, a great uh, event that happens here in Cortland and right in our backyard. Yeah, it's a good excuse to get the whole farm crew together and have a good time as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so that brings... Um, me to bring up that if you're actually a CSA member with your CSA subscription you get uh, uh, access to a private farm tour and barbecue um, that's right around the time of seed stock actually so um, if you sign up you can come uh, to that event last year we tried this new recipe where we made like carrot dogs um, kind of like hot dog but with carrots and it was a huge hit so hopefully We'll be doing that again this year. Um, and yeah, so just on a last note, I checked to see, it doesn't look like we had any comments come in, but again, we're gonna be doing this once a month, so if you have any burning questions for us, 
um, feel free to post them on our Facebook page, send a message to us, or send an email. Um, we'll make sure we answer your questions. I just wanted to mention that right now our CSA signups uh, are open. Our CSA starts on June 20th and runs for 22 weeks. Um, if you sign up in March and pay in full, you get 10% off of the entire season, which is over a $50 savings. And if you aren't ready to sign up now, that's okay. We will have deals in April and May for signing up. So if we uh, don't get you for the CSA, that's okay. We'll hopefully see you at the market. Yeah, and I'd also say about the CSA, you know, we, we, we really try to be as flexible as possible. So, you know, we hear things like, oh, it's too much food for me. You just find a friend you can split the share with. If you go on vacation, you put your share on hold. There's there's lots of flexibility. We're, we're, we're you know, doing the free choice so you get to pick the veggies you want so you're not going to get charged for veggies you don't want to eat. So uh, we try to be as flexible as possible. We hear all your concerns and questions and comments and stuff, and every year we try to make improvements on that. So thank you to everybody that's been with us for a long time, and if you're just thinking about joining the CSA, give it a shot. <laughs> cool, thanks. Thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs>